when I was training, I tweaked my chest somehow. There was, there was a guy on top of me, and we were just working some jujitsu, and I felt this sort of pop. It hurts where my ribs externally. I love Robin, but I hate fighting. When he comes home with injuries, I really have very little sympathy. I'm looking at them almost as being self-inflicted. Like, you're choosing to do this. Don't cry to me when you get hurt. And it isn't that I don't care that he's been hurt. It's that he signed on for this. He knows it's a risk. He knows it's part of the deal. Go for it. I'm hoping to know if, if uh, there is any break. Mm -hmm. I'm supposed to fight on Saturday. OK. Robin, take a very big breath in. Hold your breath. The good news is that the doctor said that I have no broken bones. I did feel a massive sense of relief, and immediately I just thought, okay, let's get on with it then. I found out I was going to get the opportunity to do some training with GSP, George St. Pierre. I packed up my stuff and I headed to Montreal. This is, your fight, you're gonna win. this is the real deal. This is the top level there is. And you do get a vision in your head of George St. Pierre knocking you unconscious. There's no easy workout. Yeah. Yeah. You, know, you sign the waiver on your way in, <laughs> we don't take anybody lightly. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we don't take nobody lightly, exactly. Perez has been training really, really hard the last couple yeah. of weeks. When Robin come down, there's this and that. We have Only the strong some, survive, George. I'm working on some strategy. It's truly intimidating to be standing there about to train with somebody who's the best in the world at something. It's going to be fun. And a bit scary. So we start in with a little bit of hand combinations, just a little bit of basic boxing. And I'm doing okay. <laughs> then it's George's turn. You suddenly realize how far you are from that level when you see this guy. People don't understand that. You are being hit by so much heat, by so much power. Like, if you were on the end of that kick, you would just break into a bunch of pieces. If that was me, I would disintegrate. Very good. Try to do it from here now. Just from here? Yeah. Ooh, the guy is coming on you. You, you do it by jumping. The guy is here. Okay. The guy is coming on me. First. Yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> After we had worked technique, George asked me to spar with him. If he dies, he dies. If I die, if I die, I die. <laughs> If he dies, he dies. There's really no mercy. <laughs> That's the model we have here. Yeah. I'm a nice guy, but I don't want <laughs> to It is terrifying. Really, really terrifying. around me I was on the end of a couple of shots he gave me a couple of kicks he took me down he punched me in the face a few times it was a bit humbling but I mean what should I expect right <laughs> Bad one didn't go so well I'm not throwing more, more than one or two punches even if you get tagged, you got to be relentless. you got to keep on forward. you got to defend, sometimes you're going to get tagged. you got no longer reach. If you're on the outside, you're going to eat your life. you got to get inside. you got to be stuck. you got to get inside. Three, one, two, three. Or one, two, three. Kick. Okay. Under your hands. Under your hands and your legs. Okay. But not just one punch. And check those kicks. Because that was a real fight right now. I'll be carrying you off yeah. out, out of the ring. you got to be stubborn now. you got to keep your hands up and down. That's it. Go forward. Not too hard. Technical. Technical. I did actually land a shot or two. I, you know, my glove hit his face, and I was able to kick him a couple of times. It felt pretty good. I punched, uh, punched the world champion in the face. And then the world champion punched me in the face many, many, many times. 
it's scary when a flurry of punches comes at you from a world champion. But then you start thinking, hey, let's see if you guys kicking my ass. That's pretty cool. Ready. One minute. One minute. We had a good little bench. Pretty. I'm very impressed. I didn't know it was like that bad at all. Very good. Round three starts pretty good. I land a couple shots, get a couple kicks in, get a couple punches in. George St. Pierre is on the ropes. Crosses my mind. I can take this guy. Then reality sets in when I'm on my back and he's doing a cartwheel over top of me. Yeah, I got a long way to go. I want to declare that point okay. I think he really got a little bit of Yeah, I think he had a little bit yeah. of that. Thanks, George. Do it. Man, I learned so much from that. This was a real, real opportunity of a lifetime. And it was one of my more favorite experiences. The next big thing I have on the horizon, maybe the biggest thing, the Mixed Martial Arts Open Trials. This is an opportunity to get a professional fighter's contract. Day after day, it was get up, train, go to the studio, start work on the music, go back, train again. You know, the, the week kind of just flew by in a way, and I went in to the MMA trials feeling pretty good. I'm kind of feeling confident. In one day, all of these promoters from all of these professional fight organizations are going to watch a whole bunch of wannabe professional fighters train and fight and compete and see who's got the skills and the guts and the heart and the drive and the ability to become professional fighters. What does that mean to me? That's been the whole goal. I didn't start this because I wanted to do this for fun. I started this because I wanted to give myself the biggest challenge that I could give myself. It's real work, but I'm gonna trust my conditioning. Some pressure, just, you know, it's a contract, that's what I want, right? It's gonna be a long, tough day.